Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to my channel. Today we are going to learn an English poem of class 9. And the name of the poem is The Village Schoolmaster, written by Oliver Goldsmith. So let's see. But students, before that, if you are viewing my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of my latest upcoming videos. Do watch the video till end and if you like it, hit the like button. And students will also find 10 standard English explanation in my channel. You can go to the playlist, have a look and also inform your friends. Okay, let's quickly take a look on about the poet. Our poet is Oliver Goldsmith. He was born on 10th of November, 1728. And he was, uh, he breathed his last on 4th April 1774. He was an Irish novelist, playwright, and a poet. And he was best known for his many of the novels, which uh, the uh, among which were The Vicar of Wetfield, The Pastoral Poem, The Deserted Village, and his many of his plays. So he was one of the well known and renowned novel writer and a novelist. So let us see what we have to learn in this poem, something about the headmaster. So the poem goes like this. Beside yon straggling fence that skirts the way with blossom furs unprofitably gay, there in his mansion skilled to rule, the village master taught his little school. So this is here he's talking about a school which is in a village which is outskirts of a, of a particular area, residential area and it is just having a straggler, straggling fence. It's, it's just in the corner of the village from the residing area, residential areas and it is having the grass which is covered throughout and there is a small mansion where a person is skilled to rule. He rules on everyone and he is no one but the village master who is teaching in the school. He was ruling because he was having much of the knowledge in each and every field and thus he ruled it. So what kind of teacher he was, what kind of master he was here in the village, let's see. A man severe he was and stern to view. I knew him well and every trunk knew. Well had the boarding tremblers learned to trace the day's disasters in his boarding face. Here, as you and I go to school, and we find many teachers, some of them become our favorites, some of them are very lenient, some of them are very strict. So, in the same way, here he says, This man, severe he was to look, he was very severe, he was very strict to see, also. And I knew him well, we knew him well, and every village is new. Joint means villages, every village is new that he's a very strict headmaster. Well, had the boarding trembles learned to trace, he just was eager to learn and teach everything every morning and the day's disasters in his morning phase and every morning when the people when the students saw his face they started oh it is a disastrous morning again we'll have a, a bundle of knowledge to learn and many things along with this strict teachers phase we have to go through the day so whenever he used to come the students just feel that it's a disastrous disastrous day going to be because early in the morning we have seen his face but what exactly it was. Full well they laughed with counterfeited glee. At all his jokes for many a joke had he. Full well the busy whisper circling round. Could wait the dismal tidings when he frowned. Here he says, he was, though he was a stern and a strict headmaster there, he used to make students laugh with the counterfeited glee. Means he used to make them laugh with his pleasant happiness and gay by cracking many of his jokes. He had many a jokes. Along with that strictness, he used to crack a jokes to make the student comfortable in love and interested in the lessons. Full well the whisper, the busy whisper circling around and he was always so busy looking at what he has to teach and what he has to do, what are the students talking about. He used to take the circles around and he used to convey the dismal tidings. Means when he did not like the whispering and the talking of the students, he used to, uh, uh, to pass the sign of dismal, that disapproval to his face like by, uh, by frowning it. You frown your face, your, 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 uh, 
your upper head the part of your forehead just is frown and some marks come when you show you are disappointed when you show, show that you are disapproving something and you are angry so this is how the village headmaster here used to show his dismal tidings so he did not like that to see his current students used to talk among themselves he used to take circles around them and he used to show this dismal tidings while he used to frown for that then yet he was kind or if it's uh, or if severe in aught the love he bore to learning was in fault the village all declared how much he knew it was certain you could write in cipher too then they also say that he was a kind person no doubt he was a strict and a stern person he was a kind or if severe in aught maybe he was very severe very strict but the love he bore to learning was in fault why he was so strict because he wanted to learn and teach the students all the knowledge he had so that was the fault that he became strict or else he was a very kind hearted person but when it comes to the field of education he was very strict and that was the fault that he became a strict person then the village all declared how much he knew all the people in the villages were uh, just astonished by the kind of knowledge he knew the amount of knowledge he knew how much he knew and it was certain that he could write and he could also make out many secret messages and he could cipher and indic uh, and can come to know what are the people saying what is it written he could he could identify the writings and the readings and the messages passed there so he was having such a tall talent that he was uh, up to the mark in every field so this was an astonishing thing and the village people used to declare him that he is a, he is a person with ample knowledge how much he knew he, they used to say that lands he could measure terms and tides presage and even the story ran that he could gauge in arguing to the person on his skill for even though vanquished he could argue still so he this said that he had so much of knowledge in each and every field he could measure the land he could do the mathematical expressions geographical tides and terms he could identify he could he could just calculate it he could understand it he could even say the story he could even measure many things the temperatures and everything and when it comes to arguing he even was having too much of skill to argue with the people and if suppose sometimes he would defeat he would be defeated even then he was he used to keep his argument alive he just still used to argue that was the talent of this person that he was excelling in each and every field and so the people knew him very well while words of learned length and thundering sound amidst the gazing rustics ranged around and still they gazed and still the wonder grew that one small head could carry all he knew then the people used to think while well, words of learned length and thrilling sound so many things he knew such a uh, such a vast amount of knowledge he knew and this was amazing and this amazed the people there they used to gaze uh, the gazing rustics with the people around used to the village people around used to just gaze and be around him to see and observe him how he is having so much of knowledge how he is trying how he is able to uh, store his knowledge and pass this knowledge they used to just be amazed and keep gazing at this headmaster and still they gazed and still the wonder grew and they still had this question and the the they used to wonder uh, uh, on him like how this knowledge grew day by day that a small head is having such a small head how could he carry all he knew so much of knowledge of different fields how can he carry all in one small head and this made them gaze and gaze and amazed by this talent of this village has headmaster so i hope students you have understood the poem here and uh, I feel that you might have also come across such kind of teacher who was very strict, but at the same time very kind-hearted, and taught you many things, and because of which you become successful in your life. So I hope you like the uh, like the poem, you understood it, and uh, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, do hit the like button and comment it, and keep waiting for my next video. Thank you.